What makes OneNote stand out from some of the other Microsoft products is the Draw Toolbar, which gives you the ability to annotate directly onto your notebook. And this is also a great feature for students to use if students have access to OneNote. Now, even though we've been using OneNote through Office 365, students who don't have an Office 365 account can still use OneNote. They can just save it locally to their L drive or somewhere else on their computer. Those students who do have an Office 365 account can use Office 365 and create their notebooks just like you did. When you have a touch screen, this draw toolbar is very handy because you can use a stylus or use your finger to make notes directly onto any page in your notebook. When you're just using a regular computer and it doesn't have a touch screen, it's not the greatest tool to use, but I want you to know how to use it anyway so that if you decide to open up your notebook on an iPad or another tablet or a phone, this little toolbar up here was going to come in handy. So right now I'm on my Edmodo section in my notebook. I'm on one of the pages where I have taken a screen clipping and maybe I want to be able to highlight something or take some notes. So if you click on the draw toolbar up here and then you select the type of tool you want to use, all you need to do is click on it. And some of the tools when you click on them are a little hard to see. My cursor is over here, but because it's a yellow highlighter, it's a little bit difficult. Let me just click on a darker one. So now if I come down over here and I want to make sure that I highlight something so that I see it, I can use my mouse and draw across it. So you can see it's not very straight because I'm using a mouse and I'm not using my finger or a stylus because I'm not working on a touch screen. But you can still use the features on here even if you don't have a touch screen. So if I click on one of my pens, and again the pen is very small so it's a little hard to see the mouse, but I can underline things and you also have the ability to use some of the tools in here so if you wanted to point something out you can use the drawing tools you can change the color line and thickness you do have an eraser tool over here as well so if you wanted to erase anything that you had put over here you can erase it as well and if you are using this on a tablet or something that has a touch screen when you're using the draw tools, sometimes you're you're a little confused as all right, now I want to stop using all of these tools. I want to be able to type again. You just have to make sure that you come back over the draw tool and click select and type. And that's going to give you your cursor again so that you can start inserting text. So play around with some of the tools that you have here. Highlight something that you might have on your screen, circle something. You can play around with some of the tools that are available in here. Um, and you also have a few other tools that you might want to play with as well. But again, these tools are a great feature if you're going to be using a tablet, you're going to be using some kind of touch screen device, and the students can actually work out problems, or you can work out math problems, you can highlight things. Um, if you put a reading passage in there for our students, they'll be able to annotate directly on it. So that's one of the great features of Microsoft OneNote.